Hi ladies, I did another toilet paper roll art, taking toilet rolls and turning it into art. And this one had a Valentine theme and I wanted to show it to you. I've tied it all together with black ribbon and then hung some fibers off of it. I love fibers, adding fibers to my art. And I've made a grouping of five rolls. So this is the first roll. I took a Tim Holtz uh, die cut and, and cut out a butterfly and then I added some stickles to it. And uh, I used background scrapbook paper and I cut out a funny word here, silly, and glued that on and used some more stickles to write Val's name on it. On the back of it, um, I did a pull out tag. This red is a piece of metal from 10 Seconds Studio. And I just added a little, um, I took the ribbon, or excuse me, I took the tag. Um, I cut it out of red velvet and red glitter paper. And I've got here no project can be complete without a bird, because Val loves birds. So there again, I've put that together with some wire and a, and, um, a brad and I can tuck that back in here and then inside inside this roll is another piece of metal uh, with just a little simple tag on it and then for our second roll I did some embossing um, on scrap paper uh, that uh, scrapbooking paper and this is some tissue tape from Tim Holtz and I've used a grommet for all of the to feed all the ribbons through uh, and then I just stamped a little bit of uh, the word joy here and this was an embossing folder and then I took some red beads and glued them on and distressed these sides with black uh, I think it was uh, black soot uh, I think and then I did the reverse image and this time I just um, outlined the flower in a white uniball pen and added some more bling to it. So this was the raised impression and this was the depressed impression. And the tag for this that's inside celebrate best friends and then on the back I did the same design that ties in with the paper and I distressed it as well. The second tag the second uh, tag that I've made, this was um, a bit more difficult because I first laid down uh, sand, uh, scrapbook paper on the roll and then for this I took um, a black acetate and uh, maybe if I put a piece of paper there you could see what I did was I took a black printed acetate Okay, and I laid it over go uh, silver glitter, uh, silver glitter scrapbook paper, and I cut out a heart using Tim Holtz die cut, and uh, on red glitter paper, and then uh, laid that in the hole that I had Im made an impression of in the acetate and gl silver glitter paper. So like I said, it was pretty intensive. Then I added some stickers and I added some bling. And then on the other side, uh, going along with the theme of, of friends, uh, I had uh, Tim Holtz um, some embellishments, love, life, and I just outlined the letters with a white uniball, added some red glitter paper, and made some flowers. I think that was from a Sizzix die. And the tag for inside it, let me get it out here, was I took a piece of scrapbook paper, uh, excuse me, I took a piece of watercolor paper and I really like this bottle cap. I think I collected them at the store. True love is what it says. And then I stamped an, um, a saying on it, a quotation, friends are quiet angels who lift us to our feet whenever our wings have trouble remembering how to fly. 
and I used H2O paints to get that red uh, brush stroke in the background. Let's put that back inside. This one, uh, to get this heart, that was the heart that I cut out of here and I stuck it on here to carry through the seam. Uh, I used Tim Holtz black tissue uh, paper, black tissue tape along the sides. I distressed the toilet roll and I added some buttons and some red ribbon that uh, goes along with the theme of friends. On the back um, I had bought some K&G company flowers at Michael's so they already come glittered so I just glued that on another quotation and uh, simple background uh, that tape is just a carryover from the tape at the front and then with more ribbons and fibers I just made a really simple tag for inside that was a brad from stamping up and this was some silver embossing of some flowers and a butterfly so that was a pretty simple tag. This one was a more difficult tag to make um, because of all the intricacies in it. Uh, what I did was I took the um, Tim Holtz Baroque die cut and, and it opens up in the shape of the Baroque tag. I secured it together with some, um, some grommets and a Tim Holtz uh, safety pin. And inside, if you can see inside, it's simply the word love that's been cut out using another one of Tim Holtz's uh, dies. These hearts were cut out of uh, styrofoam, uh, styrofoam from the meat trays, and then I uh, covered them with red suede paper, added some bling, and added some um, embossing uh, powders. On the back um, I, uh, I did another it's taking uh, the theme of the red velvet paper I added it onto the back of this toilet roll so this is our red velvet and I added um, this piece of embellishment which is a picture frame that um, like that you would put on a box and I added the word smile underneath it. Here's another heart that I cut out of the Tim Holtz die and there again it's on styrofoam and I simply threaded some um, fiber through a hole in the heart. And then these are more flowers that um, I found from the K&G company and inside this tag this piece of roll is another tag and keeping with the theme best friends and using more of the ribbon that I used earlier be mine best friend and here I use some buttons and a sticker and I simply um, painted over the sticker with uh, the distress uh, crackle paint in um, picket fence I think it is I'm not very good at remembering the names of the products that I use so that's that and that's the end of the package so that's being sent off to Val today and that's what I created five little rolls done back to back double sided as well as a double sided tag in each one and like I said I like adding top, uh, fibers and I like it being all jumbled together because then it makes it more um, more interactive for the participant to go through and pull out all the parts and pieces. So I hope she really, really likes it. And I've added the ribbon, uh, I've put it into a bow so that she can decide if she wants to hang it or if she wants to sit it on a counter, whatever. So that's my latest project. I hope she likes it. Thanks ladies.